Hi, welcome to the Rugged Rundown, guys. And this week, I'm gonna to talk to you about the top 10 features of this GTAC K120 fully rugged hybrid laptop. It's GTAC's answer to its competition's Panasonic Toughbook CF33. You'll see it has a lot of the same features, which, you know, is the competition, right? But let's get right into it. So the number 10 feature that I think is fantastic is how durable this thing is. I actually think it's a little more rugged than its competition. It's fully rugged, meets military standards for drops, vibrations, heat, cold, you name it. You can do it to it, spray water on it, do whatever you gotta do. It's gonna keep on ticking. It has an IP rating of 65. 65, so it'd be IP65. You don't know what that means? That means it's dust proof and water resistant. Most fully rugged laptops have an IP rating of 65 or 66. This unit has 65. Number nine on the list. So number nine on the list is the display. The display is a 12 and a half inch touch screen display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. So you get a nice standard 1080p high definition screen. I like that about this particular unit. And watch my video on the comparison of this unit versus the CF33 to understand why I like that resolution on the screen. So number eight is the cameras. So standard out of the box, this comes with a webcam and a rear camera. And let me show you that rear camera. I'm gonna pull this tablet off. If you look here, you have the camera here. You're able to take pictures, do whatever you gotta do. Another nice feature that is, was added is the privacy shutter right here that, so that you have privacy. You don't have to worry about somebody watching you on the webcam while you're working or whatever. So this is number eight. Number seven is the advanced connectivity. You're able to install in here the Gobi 5000 card. You all right? Yeah. So number seven is the advanced connectivity. So you're able to uh, include in this unit the uh, Gobi 5000 card, which gives you 4G LTE broadband coverage. That's right, it's easy, it's just an upgraded card that you put in, it has a SIM slot, you pop your SIM in and you're able to, to do what you gotta do. You can even sign it, you know, if you're a first responder, you can go with AT&T's FirstNet system so that you have priority on the network. Uh, it also includes Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So some nice connectivity options for this hybrid. Number eight, or I'm see, number six, is the different mounting options that you have for this K120. Mounting options, what do I mean? So if you're mounting this in a car, you can get the mount that just mounts the tablet. So if you wanted just to mount the tablet in your vehicle, it would set up in a mount like this and you'd be able to have an external keyboard connected to it on a tray and be able to use it like that. You can also use a universal tray which is just clamps this to your mounting arm and you could ha use it just like a regular laptop. Uh, there's also mounts, uh, power docks that you could just pop the entire unit into the mounted dock and it would be just like a regular laptop. You can see here on the bottom of the keyboard, you have your docking ports right here. So yes, you can do that with this hybrid laptop. So number five. Number five on my list is all the options that you can upgrade this unit with. So some of the options are this nice keyboard. It's a backlit chiclet keyboard. And you guys know how I feel about these emissive backlit chiclet keyboards on these rugged laptops. They're rugged keyboards. They last. They've got a little bit of plastic in between each of the keys so that if you get a direct spray of water, it's not going to kill your laptop. It is backlit, so you can see it in the dark. And I believe it's multicolor, so you'll be able to pick and choose the color that you want it to be. So these are some options. You also can upgrade the RAM, and this will go up to 32 gigs of RAM as well. So you can 
run those high-powered operations. It comes with a standard i5 processor. You can also upgrade to an i7 if you so desired. And it takes the SSD hard drive, so you get some speed going on there. Nice upgradability on this K120. Okay, number four on the list, and I kind of alluded to it on the mounting options, is the docking options. And I mean, it's kind of the same thing, and, but, but I'm gonna just kind of go into it a little bit. Here is that you have on the bottom of the tablet these two ports. This is what plugs into a powered dock that might, would also be a port replicator. So you can get all of the USB video and everything else on, a, the, on the actual powered dock. The keyboard itself also has docking ports as well so that if you wanted to put the entire unit into a docking system, you would be able to do that and still have port replication as you, you would with just a standard tablet. So you can have it with the keyboard or without the keyboard. Depends on your workflow, I guess. Number three is, and I've talked about other laptops that have these, it's the programmable buttons. This particular one, if you look on the front of the tablet, you've got a power button, You've got the Windows button so that you can pop up the Windows menu. It has the volume up and down, brightness up and down buttons right here, depending on what you're trying to do. And then the P1 button, which is your programmable button that you could push this if you need a special piece of software to load up as soon as you push the button. Um, if you use Microsoft Office, for example, all the time and you needed it at the push of a button, you could just assign it to this button and push it and it would open. Those are some nice features that I like about these hybrid laptops. Number two, and uh, I've talked about this in the past, but I'm gonna talk about the batteries. And just FYI, it took me a little bit to figure out how to remove the batteries on this unit. That's right, it did. But if you look here on the bottom, there's two release switches right here. All you have to do is slide the the re release switch and the battery pops right out. These are hot swappable. So you could remove one and put a new battery in and still leave the uh, laptop on. If you look here, I'm gonna remove this one as well so you guys can see. Both these batteries are hot swappable so that you can have the unit on, change the battery out and keep on working with a brand new fresh battery. Um, that's a nice feature on this unit, and, I, and that's why it's number two, is those hot swappable batteries are really nice. Okay, number one, I've been doing it this entire video, and that's the convertibility. Not only, if you notice, you can pop it in like this, and pull it off, and now you have a tablet, or you can pop it like this, back in, slide it down. Now guess what, you, you have a tablet and you're, you've got your keyboard, so it's more portable. It's a little heavier, but you still have that tablet capability. Uh, and, and I'm gonna leave you guys with a bonus option here as well. I didn't mention this in the past, but I gotta mention it here because I really like this feature on the, um, on the GTAC, and I don't know why it's not going in there. There we go. Um, and that is, believe it or not, the handle. This handle has got a nice rubber coating. It's got a good grip feel, and I like how large it is so that you have plenty of room to put your hand in there. Not all rugged laptops have this kind of handle, and I will tell you that is a nice feature of this K120. Well, I think that's about all I got for you on this K120. Keep watching because I'm gonna do some general walkthrough stuff and talk about the ports on future videos. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and you know what to do. See you next week.